Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the Mecca Media Morning Show. And I'm Miss Pursley. You already know. From the high road. Tell me something good. What up, Purse? Hey. Uh, I'm going to tell you something good. You looking damn good. Oh, thank you. You look like a big old, cute, them lips looking like a, a what are things, Starbucks. I might be looking like a melanated snack out there, she might. <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit the people with some inspiration for today. Inspiration of the day. Love conquers all. Hey, facts. Love conquers all. You cannot beat evil with evil. You cannot surpass negativity with negativity. You have to use positivity and love. If you're trying to get anywhere, man, it's just the facts of the matter. Y'all ain't watch Green Lantern? All right. <laughs> I watched it. Just shouts out to Deadpool. Okay, so now that you've been getting, given some I got that. You know what I mean? I got that. You see what I... I think we can get there. Nerd. Brian, Brian Reynolds. Shouts out to all my nerds. Live long and... Pro- okay, so now that you've been given some inspiration for the day, time to move on to the information of the day. And as you know, we get all of our news and information from the reporting newspaper online. Com. So we'll pull up your smartphone. Send me smartphones. Android. Or Apple products. You know what I mean? We love y'all all. It's the theme of the day is love. Okay? I'm sorry that what I'm about to report does not match the theme. I didn't make the news. Okay. I'm just reporting it. So, uh, Trouble, Atlanta rapper, he dies at 34. Trouble, he was an Atlanta rapper. He collaborated with Drake and The Weeknd. He uh, apparently uh, was passing... Wait. He was confirmed in a social media post of passing. Um, I hope to goodness that none of his friends, families, or loved ones found out via social media that that is how that man passed away. We've seen what happened the last time. We don't know what the cause of death is right now. It's not immediately available. However, um, he was apparently signed the Def Jam. Uh, he did collaborate. And I would just like to note the disparity between why do I have to wait until the rapper dies to find out about a rapper? That's a good point. Can I say something about that? You got mainstream news talking about trouble. They ain't talking about trouble. To- yes, please, sir. Elaborate. You took the words right out of my mouth. Um, some rappers is not even, I'm assuming he's affiliated with Def Jam from that because they made a statement. But um, have you noticed recently every rapper that's confirmed dead get this national news as if they're national rappers? Like they got national distribution, national record labels and stuff like that. I think the advent of what's happening digitally is bringing them up uh <laughs> Or it could be just, what do you think? Could it be? Jada Kiss said it best. You might find your man dead in the ocean. He be all right, though. You know dead rappers get better promotion. <laughs> Jada. <laughs> I didn't say it. Jada did. Okay, so That's now that we... That's man, girl. You better... I, on that, I rest my case. That's what I'm talking about. If I don't know um, rapper smack a bitch, I don't know rapper smack a bitch, okay? Right. But I guarantee you, once he gets shot up, we we'll hear all this stuff. You gonna Spotify know all about the backhanded and duo. And then he's gonna, he's gonna be on Fox News, ABC News, CNN. ABC. They yeah. be ready to report somebody's demise, don't they? MC Smack a bitch. Right. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't watch it. Moving on. Now that to uh, hey hey, the views of Latoya Persley are only do not necessarily re- represent the views of the Mecca Media Morning Show or us at the Melanated Media Movement via AfricanPop.com. All right, that's my disclaimer. Y'all got it? Y'all like the sheet? Yes, I came up with it all by my shelf. Okay, out of my own blackness. <laughs> all right, so now, all right, now that y'all been given some information of the day, and hopefully it caused you to question some of the information means in which you receive it, we are going to move on to another one of my favorite segments, and that is the Black Thought of the Day. Right the high road. Black Thought of the Day. Hey, listen, man, what we want to do is represent Black family, Black unity, most importantly, Black love from not only us here on this continent, but we want to extend a pan-African black hand to our people in the diaspora as well, or in the um, homeland. You feel what I'm saying? That's my black thought. Y'all better feel me before they kill me. I like it. You can extend a hand whether it's the black hand side. What y'all know about that? Too slow. Okay. All right. Now that you the given the black thought of the day we're going to move on to the business of the day and that is none other than the maple valley community weekend festival weekend community festival i'm gonna just rename it okay but it's the maple valley's weekend community festival it is happening from june 10th to june 12th this is the kickoff to the juneteenth i hope y'all gonna be juneteenth in with us Okay, and if not, send your girl some money. Dollar sign P M Z P U R S L E Y. So, 
Uh, June 10th is going to be a free family movie night. They will be showing King Richard. All right. Uh, so make sure you bring your chairs, your setups. You know what you mean? Uh, June 11th is going to be the Maple Valley Community Festival. That is from noon to 6 p.m. And there will be vendors lined up. They had to pay to become a vendor. This was not a free thing. So make sure you show them some love. Bring some dollars. Gabby Cash App's ready so that you can buy some stuff. And if you don't want to buy anything, buy something for me. I'm going to be it for me. I'm going to be there. Okay. So June 12th is Unity in the Community. We will have the pastors and community leaders out to spread some positivity, love. You know what I mean? And you and I'm sure they're going to, hopefully somebody got some suckers or something. I mean, I hope they ain't out here trying to just be like, it, hey, the word goes over really good with a Snickers. <laughs> message okay so nothing but make sure y'all come out and celebrate juneteenth this is the announcement of our freedom people this is when we knew that the melanated folks wasn't out you know we all know what happened after that but we ain't gonna talk about it we're gonna focus on juneteenth dang it all right so now that y'all got some inspiration some motivation some melanation for your timeline stay up stay black peace out July 1st, 2022, the all-white cancer ball. What is your zodiac sign? It's a birthday celebration for Levi Johnson. And I'll be there, comedian Darnell Mitchell, doing a couple of jokes for everybody, along with the MGM Jazz Band. And special guests DJ Ellery out of Cleveland, Ohio, DJ Easy Money, and DJ the DJ. Tickets are $20 in advance, $25 at the door. Tickets are available at Two Live Music. There'll be a cash bar and also a best dress contest. So dress to impress, ladies and gentlemen, because there is cash prizes. Free food, water, lads, all those zodiac signs, welcome. Like to see your face in the place. See you later, bye. A lot of times, what you find with entrepreneurs, self-employed people, they actually, they, they write everything off, they take their money, they just kind of throw it in the purse, and um, they make a lot of money, but they don't claim a lot of money. And because of that, they don't, they're not eligible for a loan, and then they feel like, oh, well, they didn't give me the loan just because. No, you can't do that, that's not okay. You have to actually show income in order to be able to actually qualify for a loan. You can't show $10,000 of income on your tax returns and then go apply for a $200,000 house. It'll never happen. It's not ever going to happen. So you have to use your money wisely, use your write-offs wisely, use an accountant, pay someone to do your taxes, quit trying to use um, whatever some of those online turbo tax, do it yourself, set yourself up properly. Again, if we want to create legacies, we want to create financial freedom. It's not always about getting over on the government, thinking that we're getting over because it hinders us. We get in our own way. Hi, my name's Vanessa. I'm a part of the new leadership team here at Louisiana. Uh, we are basically doing the same menu. We got whole wings, wing dings, we got our fish. Uh, we have catfish, perch, shrimp. Uh, we offer it grilled or fried. And we're doing the same sides that we always have, all homemade, collard greens, mac and cheese, red beans and rice, mashed potatoes, uh, coleslaw, all the regular. We also have some fried gizzards still. Um, our, we have new operating hours. We're open during the week, 11 to seven and on Fridays and Saturdays, 11 to eight, closed on Mondays as normal. All right, all right, we're inside of the business, in the place to be, Appliance King, and check this out. We with the lovely Asia. Say what's up, Asia? How you doing? Now, when we say Asia, are we talking the place or the face? The face. The face is it's in always the, the face. Hey, listen, <laughs> tell somebody, man, what's going on here at the Appliance King? We are at 620 Johnson Street here in Akron, Ohio. We have amazing appliances at cheap prices. Samsung, Whirlpools, Frigidaires, you name it, we have it. Hey, if your change is strange, your credit is pathetic, 
then you still get it? Of course. I like that if your credit is pathetic, you can still get it. Somebody better mark that down. I'm hot right now. Hey, listen, um, now the owner who's responsible for the Appliance King decided to bring this back to this to the community and everything. How long you guys been in business over here? A uh, couple months. Couple of months. And y'all had your grand opening. Now we want to grand tell the whole city that we right here. One more time, what's the address? 620 Johnson Street, Akron, Ohio.